Okay, moving on to reaction two, we're going to start with um, cobalt two chloride solution. So I'm just gonna set these other chemicals aside. Okay, so I have my um, cobalt two chloride in my test tube. Um, so again, make sure that you make your observations on what you see in this test tube before we add anything to it. Um, and what we're adding, what we're adding to this test tube is going to be concentrated hydrochloric acid. So notice, I am working inside the hoods today. I don't want to, um, I don't want to breathe in any of these fumes from any of these chemicals. Um, so we're going to add that sodium. Um, we're going to add the concentrated hydrochloric acid until we see a color change again. Okay, so now we have seen a color change, so make sure you make your observations on what you see in this test tube. So it's gone from a pinkish color and now it is more of a purple color. Um, hopefully you can see that. Make sure that you record your observations in table one. Uh, so the next one for table one is we're gonna add water to this. Um, so this should be your initial observation of what it looks like. And then we're going to add water drop-wise until we see a color change. So I just wanted to stir that up so that that reaction happens throughout the entire test tube. Um, so you can see that there is a color change happened again. Uh, so this is when we added water to this cobalt to chloride um, equilibrium reaction. Uh, again, there's a specialized um, waste container for this reaction. So you'll put that in there um, when you're finished looking at this.